has talked about Ebola for several days. Does that mean it's gone? No, Adi. There are still people who are sick, but the government says it's safe for us to go to school. But if there is still Ebola, is it really okay for us to go to school? I thought we were supposed to avoid crowds of people. The health workers have taught us ways to protect ourselves. Don't you remember what they said? Yes. When it comes to Ebola, we are better safe than sorry. And what does that mean? We must wash our hands with soap and clean water. It will stop the disease from spreading. Good. And what else? We must not touch anyone who shows signs of Ebola, even if it is someone we love. The disease is spread through physical contact. Because... Because the virus lives in all bodily fluids, like blood and sweat, and it's easy for these to be shared through touch. Very good. And what else? Adi! We must not touch dead animals or eat bush meat, particularly bats or monkeys. They can carry the Ebola. There's Anita. Her uncle died from Ebola last week, and her cousin is still sick. Some people are saying that it is a curse. Adi, Ebola is a disease, and many people have lost friends and family to it. We must comfort them while they are grieving. Come on, we'll be late for class. Why do we have to write down our family details? Madame teacher knows who we are. You heard what she said. It's so that if anyone becomes sick with Ebola, the authorities know who else might also be infected. Faith, Adi, come and join the queue. The nurse says we must all take a tablet for worms. Ew! I do not have worms. I'm sure you are fine. But if you were to have worms, they can give you a fever. If the school can stop fever caused by worms... Then it is easier to recognize a fever caused by Ebola. I think I will take my warming tablet. Better save than sorry. So if someone has a fever, they could have Ebola? They might have Ebola. To begin with, people with Ebola get a fever, a headache, and their muscles ache. Then they often develop diarrhea, vomiting, and a rash on their skin. I'm worried. Now I will think that anyone who is sick has Ebola. Adi, do not panic. What has Mama been telling you? What will you do if I become sick tomorrow? Better safe than sorry. I will tell Mama or Madame Teacher. What I don't understand is why we have to spend so much time cleaning the school. It's so boring. Because a clean school gives Ebola nowhere to hide. That's why. And when we are done, we must wash our hands again with soap and clean water. Because clean hands give Ebola nowhere to hide. Adi, I do believe you may have actually learned something today. I have. I can help fight Ebola by washing my hands, by keeping my school clean, and by reporting anyone who becomes sick. When it comes to Ebola, it is better, better to be safe than sorry. sorry.